Hi friends, welcome to Vcreation Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about write data into text file in C sharp. So which means there is an existing text file is present and we are just going to add some of the more data into the text file or even if I can say we are just going to add some of the new lines into the text file and here also we will just see how we can achieve those things by using the C sharp and to achieve that we need just need to use the stream writer class which is present under the system.io namespace let me just show you the programmatically like how we can actually write the data into the text file so now here you can see i i just created a, a variable name called as the file name and which is of type string and here my the file name is file1.txt but this can be of anything and this is the my location of the text file so here let me delete this file.txt and file1.txt let me delete its content also so so in case of the file1.txt nothing is there which means it is empty so now now let me use the uh, stream writer so basically the stream writer is a class which is present under the system.io namespace so if i hover the mouse over the stream writer then you can see implement a system.io dot text writer for writing character to a stream in a particular encoding so which means the stream writer is basically used to write the data into the text file now equal to file dot append text and here i am just going to pass my the the path of the file All right so here i just created the, the object of the stream writer and by using the append text we are actually appending the text into the text file and here i have just passed the the file name or you can see the uh, or or i can say the path of the file now i am just going to use sw dot write line so the, the the right line is actually going to write the data into the text file so here let me add test then plus here i'm just going to use the date time dot now dot to string all right so let me put a breakpoint and run the application so if i debug line by line and click on continue now let's check our text file whether this test data is present or not so here you can see that that this this is my data actually which is the, nothing but about test and this is the date time dot now i added so if i if i run the application again then you can see another line got added with the data is test and the date time now is changed so 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 in the second line you can see the test data is added but you but in case of the date time dot now here you can see there is a difference in the second now the next thing is so let's say under the d drive and test folder let's say this file1.txt is not present then what is going to happen let's say you can you can see here under the d drive and test folder only file1.txt is present so let's say i am going to create another file which is 78 okay so now here you can see under the d drive and and test folder this file 78 dot text file is not present so now what is going to happen so i can tell you that whenever this program executes so automatically it will create this file which is the file 78 dot txt under the d drive and test folder if it is not present because for now it is not present under the d drive and test folder so now if i run the application 
and debug it line by line then you can see the file 78.txt file is going to be created under that D drive and test folder so now here you can see the file 78.txt or the text file is created with the test data and this is the, my date time so 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 basically this is an advantages of 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 this one like if someone uh, forget to create the text file then when we'll run this particular line of code and if the text file is not present then automatically it will create the text file and it will append those data into the text file and here one more thing i can explain is that you can run this commands 100 or 1000 times and whatever this right line present here you know it will add that much of data into the text file suppose let's say i am i'm just uh, going to run this application for 100 times then then this sw dot right line this line you can see here this test data it will add that many number of test data into your text file all right so the last thing so what is the advantages of using this stream writer and these things so basically no need to uh, i mean no need to write this code every time and these things are basically used in the like when you are uh, uh, writing some of the automated data into the text file so at that time this this code is very useful and for the practical example i can say like uh, whenever any any kind of job okay job which runs continuously or uh, periodically in a in a, in the day to day life and let's say some of the exception arises then what we can do so in case of this test data we can add the exception with the date time dot now dot to string and which will just write those data into the text file and later so if someone just try to check like what are the exceptions we got occurred in that particular uh, application then we can just directly go to the text file and open it and we can see those things so this is all about our today's video thank you please like and subscribe to our channel